today, this way, Dad. Hold on, man. Today is uh, Friday, uh, January the 10th, 2020. Time being about 12.05 uh, p.m., a little afternoon. This is my dad. Give me a salute, dad. Give me one of the mommy salutes right quick. Hold on. Look at, look at the camera. Stop for a minute. Give me an army salute, dad. That's my dad, 92 years old, just leaving up out of the veteran uh, administration here in Sykes, Missouri, getting a checkup. He got a clean bill of health. Yeah, hold on to that thing up there, dad. There you go. There you go. All right, uh-uh, take your hand out your pocket. Hold on to that. Go ahead. There you go. Look at him. He's like a young man. You remember what war you was in, Dad? World War II. All right, go on ahead and scoot in. Go on ahead and scoot in. Scoot over some more. Just a little bit more. Turn this way, Dad. Look here. Let me let him see that. Let him let you see that uh, hat he got. Turn around. Tell him what, I, what, what were you in? The United States what? Hmm. What was you in? World War II. World War II? Uh, you remember what uh, branch of the army, we, I mean, the uh, military you was in? Yeah, we call it China. Say, tell him again. The fourth quarter what? Fourth uh, quarter. Okay, what was it? What was the other one that you was in? It was something else that you was in too. Four quarter master training. And and the fourth and what was the other one with your chemical? Right. Okay. Uh we thank you for your service, Dad. You know, and and uh I thank God that uh my dad is living to see ninety-two years old. You feel 92, Dad? Uh, no. All okay. right. That's my dad. We here at the uh, Sykes in Missouri Veteran uh, Clinic here. The John J. Purgeon Medical Center in Sykes. Since I brought him down to Charles, Missouri, where he was born and raised. I brought him back down here. Uh, I believe it was October 2014. And uh, he's been doing good. Some people said my dad was on Hobson. It looks like he's not, he's not on Hobson. My dad is in good shape. Vital signs is good. Thank God for allowing me to be in my two youngest daughters to be able to take care of my dad. Uh, to all the people that's around the world, when your family uh, family members get to where they can't hardly take care of themselves, start putting them in nursing homes if you don't have to. Uh, take care of them. Peace, peace.